Welcome to Square for Restaurants. In this video, we'll cover how to get started with your free trial and take your first payment in just a few easy steps. On squareup.com, click Sign In and enter your email and password. This is your Square dashboard. Let's start by creating a menu. In the navigation, select Menus. Here we'll click on Create a Menu and give it a name, like Brunch. Next, click Add a Display Group. This is a group of items, like mains or appetizers. Let's call this one Entrees. Give it a color and click Save. Let's add our first entree, Egg Scramble. Click Create New, give it a color and a price. Hit Save. This is what your menu will look like in the app, but we'll get to that later. You can also click Edit POS Layout to preview and customize your menu right here from the dashboard. Now let's add modifiers to our dish. In the navigation, click Items. From here, click Modifiers on the left-hand side. Let's create a new one. We'll call it Brunch Sides. We'll add the names and prices of our modifiers, and at the bottom, we'll enable conversational ordering. Hit Save. Let's apply these modifiers to our egg scramble. Click Apply to Items. Then select Egg Scramble, and then hit Apply to Items. Here's what your modifiers will look like in the app, but more on that later. In the navigation, click Devices. On the left, click Floor Plans, and then click Create a Floor Plan. Let's call it Main Floor. Within the Floor Plans, we can create sections by clicking Add New Section. We'll start by creating a dining room. Six tables. On the right, we'll click Tables to add them to our floor plan. We'll set them up to match our restaurant layout. Let's create another section for our patio with four tables and set them up as well. This looks great. It's time to add our first team member. In the navigation, click Team. Here, click Add Team Member. You'll need to enter first and last name, contact and employment information. Next, assign a permission set, say as an administrator, and pick a location. Give them a point of sale passcode and enter their email and click Save Team Member. The final step is setting up your point of sale device. Go to Devices and click Add a point of sale. Give it a name like Main POS and select your type of service. There are a lot of settings here, like receipt settings, tip settings, floor plan settings, and more. But for now, we'll just hit Create. This is your device code. Make note of it. You'll need it to log into your point of sale app. Now let's head over to the App Store on your iPad and download the Square for Restaurants app. Once the app is downloaded, open it and tap Get Started. Then enter the device code that you just created. Enable device settings and then log in with your employee four digit PIN. For now, tap Continue without clocking in. And look, here's our floor plan. It's time to create our first check. Swipe right and tap New Check. Select a section, pick a table and number of guests. Here's our menu. Let's give them an egg scramble. On the right-hand side, tap the modifier set. Let's do a side of country potatoes and add avocado. Then tap Seat. In this case, they're sharing, so we'll make it for the table. Then tap Send. This will print a ticket for the kitchen staff if you have a kitchen printer connected. 
you've created your first check. Now our table is asking for the check. If you swipe left, you can see the table with the open check. First, tap the table, then print bill. If your receipt printer is connected, it will print the check. When guests are ready to settle, select Pay, then tap, dip, or swipe the card, and add the tip amount from the check. To learn more, visit square.com help and search keywords Square for Restaurants.